Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be talking about three animals in these three phylums, arthropod, mollusk, and echinoderm. So let's get started. Just like any other arthropod, Asian giant hornets have jointed appendages, have an exoskeleton, and they molt. Asian giant hornets are the largest hornets in the world, growing up to 1.5 to 2 inches long. They have black or dark brown and orange bodies. They also have large mandibles. They live in East and Southwest Asia, living in temperate and tropical forests. They can also be found in mountains of Japan. They also live in colonies and nests, which isn't surprising. These little monsters love eating bees. They'll attack the beehive and use their mandibles to kill their prey rather than using their stingers. The prey that they kill are fed to the larvae as well. They also eat tree sap and fruit that are most likely soft, probably. And adults can't eat solid food, so they rely on larval saliva. Wow. They have an open circulatory and have a heart, but not the heart that you would think of. See that red line? That's the circulatory system, and those bumps are the hearts. And these tracheal tubes, the blue thing, it's where the respiratory system is. And yes, I know this is a picture of a bee and not a hornet. Asian giant hornets reproduce sexually, but the queen hornet is the only one to lay eggs. Asian giant hornets are pretty aggressive creatures. Since they live in colonies, they are sociable. They are pretty much dying because of habitat loss, most likely due to us. But who cares about these little nasty monsters? They can chase their prey up to 25 miles per hour and they will use their stingers for self-defense if needed and have a venomous sting that is harmful to us. Like, really harmful. They're part of the top 10 of 72 dangerous animals in uh, Netflix. Like any other octopus, they have a soft body and siphon which is that thing right here. They can grow up to 8 inches and come in colors of orange and white and maybe more. Dumbo octopus can be found at the bottom of the sea about 1,300 feet to 23,000 feet below the surface. The only octopus to live in deep, deep water. Unlike other octopi, these ones swallow their prey whole. They would eat bristle worms, cope, Pods, isopods, and amphipods. Amphipods? They would also eat food floating in a current or in ocean vent ecosystems. They have a closed circulatory system and have three hearts. You see, how they breathe is quite simple. They have these things called gills. Yeah, surprising. They reproduce sexually and get fertilized internally. The eggs are usually released under rocks or shells, and they have no mating season. Dumbo octopus are fast swimmers, which can be useful to escape predators. They can shoot water from their funnels in order to escape the predators. They also flap their fins and use their tentacles to propel themselves through the water, although they don't come across predators very often. Dumbo octopus don't have an ink sac like other octopus, and they have adapted to living in cold temperature and strong water pressure. Just like any other echinoderm, they have radial symmetry, spiny skin, and have an endoskeleton. They can grow up to 20 centimeters and are usually orange, but can also be red. Vermilion starfish can be found in oceans of Alaska to California. They live 500 meters below the surface and live at rocky areas. They are omnivores and feed on sponges, tunicates, algae, worms, brachiopods, and 
C pens, and more. Since they have no jaws, they would literally put out their stomach to eat its prey. They also consume dead animals. In order to circulate things through the blood, they use a system called H2O vascular system. Ever wondered how a starfish could breathe? Well, they use this, these things called tube feet. These starfish can reproduce sexually and asexually. Vermilion starfish can move 40 centimeters a minute, can regrow their limbs, and to protect themselves from predators, they make themselves into a ball by curving their arms. What I learned throughout this whole thing is that animals are weird. I didn't know Dumbo Octopus didn't have ink sacs, that a sea star could eat a sponge, with, and that a hornet prefers to use its mandibles to kill its prey. The most interesting animal out of the three I researched is the Asian giant hornet. Even though I knew a little bit of it, it was still more interesting than the rest. But I hate hornets though but it was easier to research than the other two. The biggest challenge of the project was finding a trustworthy website, especially when I had to research the Vermilion Starfish. I didn't get as much information as I wanted for it, but oh well.